Hello everyone, and thank you so much for checking out this video. I'm Claudia and I'm one of Just Two Sisters, and today I wanna to show you this teeny tiny little uh, Christmas journal. It measures only about two and a half by three and a half inches, and as you can see, it pretty much just fits in the palm of your hand. This is one of those journals that's made for you to take and make your own masterpiece. In other words, pretty much all the pages inside, although beautifully dyed, stenciled, and stamped, are like a blank canvas for you to uh, do with whatever you would like to do. This little journal has a beautiful little spine. It's made of an old vintage little book. It's uh, embellished on the cover, both back and front, but there's still quite a bit of room here for you to kind of do your own thing. It also has a pretty little charm here and a, a lovely little clasp. This journal goes together with a pretty ribbon, which I've intentionally left really long. So as you fill this up uh, and it gets fatter, um, you can decide how long you want that ribbon to be. So let's open it up and check out the inside. So this little journal, um, as I said, is complete on the cover and on the inside, but it is filled with a lot of paper that you can use to create your own uh, interesting elements in your journal. The inside pages, the signatures uh, sewn in, and it has this really pretty um, plaid material, which you'll also find on the back cover here, which is part of the signature. The edges are embellished with a, a little bit of copper. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's uh, it brings kind of that old uh, vintage look. So this little journal has two signatures, as you can see. The signatures are sewn in to their spine, and it's very secure and very tight and will last a lifetime. So let's take a look at some of these pages. I'm just gonna kind of flip through them give you an idea. Everything in here is echo dyed or uh, coffee dyed, tea dyed, stamped or stenciled by myself. And a great inspiration for you, I actually made this entire journal out of scraps that I had. So when we talk about how we just can't get rid of those paper scraps, this is actually an example of what you can do with them. So let's look at some of these pages. These are echo dyed. Here's just a nice piece of black paper that makes a really great background. There's so many great YouTube videos out there that give you inspiration and ideas for great things that you can do in journals. I personally love echo dyeing. I have a video on my website that talks about how to make your own echo dyed paper. The results that I have have just been beautiful using the technique that, that I talk about in my video. I've used quite a bit of um, paper in this one that is uh, sheet music. My sheet music is original sheet music. A lot of times you can tell that because it's double-sided. These are um, Christmas carols, um, a crib for his bed, lay down his sweet head. Again, the echo dyeing on these are just um, came out so lovely. Some graph paper, um, some coffee dyed art paper or craft paper that again makes a lovely background some old magazines and these are like from i believe like a literary digest great um, old advertisements welch's grape juice there that some brings back some great memories there's also a lot of textured paper in here that makes a, a perfect blank canvas to try out some of those techniques that you'll find on youtube and with all the the amazing journal artists out there there's no end to what you can try. Lots of graph paper, school lined paper. This is a very thin piece of um, vellum paper that was dyed. Again, more ads and pages from books. This is one of the center signatures. You'll see that these are very tightly secured. Cookbooks for Christmas cookies. Um, and again, just an abundance of um, a variety of different types, textures, colors, and paper that make um, a great background for you to try so many different techniques that, um, that you'd like to experiment with. I feel like these little journals are an opportunity for those folks who are not quite ready 
to make their own covers, make their own, um, take a, a book and cut it up as hard as that might be sometimes. But I feel like it gives it a whole new life. And now it belongs to somebody who's really going to appreciate it. But it gives you that opportunity to uh, already have a jump start on your journal and take that and, and again, just make it your own. I love this paper, tracing paper that you can see through no matter what you put on the page behind it. Um, when you look through the paper, it just looks so pretty. More of my lace dyed paper with coffee. And you'll see examples of the lace dyeing, stencils. Uh, stencil dyeing is a lot of fun as well. Some remnants of some craft paper, lined paper, book pages, um, dictionaries, um, and so forth. So pretty much any paper, you can stamp on this and it looks really cool. You can paint on it. Um, but pretty much any paper that you'll see on a lot of the videos that you watch, you'll find an example of that paper in this tiny little journal. This is um, stamped and stenciled paper um, using a, a stencil that has a bunch of clocks. I really like that. Um, again, craft paper, dyed paper, echo dyed paper, ruled paper, another in signature. There's three in this little book. I like it when there's a very faint glimpse of a stencil on the pages. It just, again, uh, adds to that vintage element that we all really appreciate in these little journals. And a lot of these pages are you're going to see are the second pages of the ones that we've already looked at. So I'll flip through this relatively quickly. And if I see anything that is unique and catches my eye, I'll describe it to you. But I think we've pretty much uh, looked at a lot of these. These are again, stencils, book pages, art paper, old magazines, lined paper, coffee dyed paper. And this one is, you know, uh, there's a lot of these again, they're all different. Um, sizes of paper and different gauges of paper. So this one is like a file folder, lends itself really well to, you know, painting on and so forth. Some of the pages might seep through. So watch those videos and don't forget that when you uh, do your journal, put a page in between when you're working on it so nothing bleeds through. And then the back cover again the, with the sewn in signature. And this little journal, as I said, has a long ribbon tie that gives you the opportunity to fill it up to the maximum and still be able to tie that ribbon. So that's the little journal. It is for sale if you'd like to check it out on we'rejusttwosisters.com. Again, that's We're Just Two Sisters with the number two. Or you could visit our Etsy shop, which is the same Etsy we're just two sisters. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.